I'm Daniel Decay with Banger TV. This week I'm interviewing the ringleader of Richmond, Virginia's Iron Reagan, Mr. Tony Foresta. Crossing the border into Canada, Iron Reagan had a little bit of a surprise. But in true road warrior fashion, the show must go on. Tony, dude, welcome uh, back to Home Away From Home Toronto. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's starting seriously. to feel that way, man. <laughs> You're a really hardworking dude, constantly on the road. W where does that drive and work ethic really come from? Is it in all areas of your life? Have you always been that way? I mean, if it's something I really enjoy doing, then yeah, I work hard for it. If it's something I don't really want to do, I'm usually a piece of shit about it. <laughs> but it's, I don't know, we love what we do and, you know, you gotta work hard nowadays playing music. You can't just fucking, you're not making money off selling records. You gotta get on the road and hustle, you know, if it's really what you wanna do. Constantly on the road, uh, everything that comes with it, the sleeping in vans, per diem. The doing laundry backstage, look at them wearing. Backstage laundry and border crossings. Dude, not everyone knows this, but crossing a border with a band, it sucks. Yeah. Is there a border story in all your years of crossing that uh, you care to share? The one that just happened, they wouldn't let our drummer Ryan in because he had a DUI nine years ago. And there's also apparently a, not a serial killer, but some guy who's like extremely wanted in the United States named Ryan Parrish. <laughs> so whenever he comes through, he has to convince them that he is not this, this wanted man. It just depends every, every time. Sometimes you'll get a sweetheart going through there and sometimes you'll get a fucking asshole. And we got the asshole this time. It was frustrating, but we pulled it together. We ended up getting three drummers instead of one fill-in drummer, so. We hired three drummers. By hired, I mean we begged them to fucking help us. See, that's, that's pretty impressive. At that point, most bands just kind of say fuck it and either don't come into the country or... You know, yeah, I had of... a little hissy fit. Like, I was just like, fuck this. Let's just go play a house show in Buffalo or something. And like, Ryan was like, fuck that. You're getting to Canada. You're not going to let the border win. And that's what we did. He sent me a text last night and asked if he was still in the band because he keeps watching videos. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight we were playing with a drummer we have never met before, so that'll be fun. It's interesting, it's like watching a game show or something. It's like, who's the next drummer? All right, like, here we go. <laughs> yeah, you've definitely been working hard. New records out, just out at the start of the <clears throat> month. I noticed the artistic direction, uh, the album art. It's like a lot less gory and maybe a lot less politically driven. Brighter look and a lot more intricate in the artwork. The last two releases we did before this was with this girl, Mabry, who's a friend of ours. And uh, we just thought it would be cool to just new albums start fresh with a different artist. And uh, this guy, Bone Thrower, did that one. And we just want, we wanted, didn't want it to look like a typical crossover or like thrash record or something, you know? So I think it's always good to mix it up. I think it's good to do that musically as well, too. I've, I've watched you on stage a lot of times. You like really have this ability to command an audience. You really make it look natural in the way you can tell a room what to do. Let's get the circle pit all the way in the back. Let's go, circle it up. Do you have any advice for you know someone who doesn't have as much, as much experience? When Reagan started, I was, I was kind of a, little, a lot more introverted because the songs were more serious and it was a little more intense for me. So I kind of like, like was trying to be something I wasn't. And I think that the best thing to do is just be your fucking self and what do what makes you feel comfortable. If you're up there and you're playing music, you're probably doing it because you love it. So just be your fucking self. Just be yourself. <laughs> Don't overthink everything, just be yourself. I want to know a little bit about the sacrifices that you have to make in your life as a human to kind of continue what you're doing and keep building upon the legacy you've created? I mean, it's a lot of sacrifice. You miss a lot of shit. I missed, like, one of my best friend's weddings that I was probably should have been in. Uh, my grandmother passed away on the last tour that we were on. It's a lot of stuff, man. It, and it's just, there's sacrifices you gotta do to, like, commit to doing what you love. And, and the people that love you know that and they respect that and the people that don't really love you or really don't give a shit about you like will hold it against you you know so i'm lucky to have people support me like and of strong strong family friends awesome girlfriend and they fucking support the shit out of what we do 
and that's what keeps you going too. You know, it makes you want to work harder and make them proud of what you're doing. You know? And I, I love that. So. Big